Hi, I'm Tyler Post and you're watching Atherton On Air. If you drive to school, you know that some of our students have some interesting cars. I drive a Honda Accord. Now over to Kai Skipworth with more info on those students and their cars. Here in Atherton's parking lot, we are finding out if students' styles reflect the look of their cars. Lucy and Rachel are seniors that drive cars that are known to be environmentally friendly. It's my car. Her name is Sherry. Yeah, she's pretty cool, gets great gas mileage. I have some Squishmallows. Her name is Nikki, and my friend has one named Minaj. I do have a little dinosaur that I found on the ground at work. This is my call, car, Walter. The interior is mostly pink. I got pink floor mats, uh, pink flowers in my air vents, uh, pink steering wheel cover, my lanyard for my key is pink, my key is pink, beads from homecoming, and then my vanity play up front is also Grateful Dead, my favorite band. Devin and TJ are seniors that have cars that are not known for being environmentally friendly. All right, so here's my car. It's a 2004 Ford Mustang. It's a V6. Uh, the kind of look I'm going for is, you know, simple. I'm not really trying to do too much to it. Uh, if I could do anything, anything to my car though I would get it repainted and probably lowered and get some fat tires on here too. This is the Beamer uh, 2003 BMW 325i. One of the things I would change is probably the roof liner on the inside it is starting to come off just a little bit. Nice. And then under the hood it's really nice too. Although Aggie and John's cars may be smaller they still pack a lot of style. It's a 2007 Mazda Miata. Uh, some things that I like about it are the exhaust system that I put on there just like how it drives because it's like really smooth and like low to the ground. On the inside there's really good speakers and I have a touchscreen stereo so it's like really convenient for mapping and everything because it's a really small engine but like I would make it like a lot more powerful if I had money. Hi I'm Aggie this is my car it's a 1996 Ford Ranger I named it Clyde. <laughs> um, inside of it I have a picture wall in the back and like I have my a basket full of things that I might need, like a picnic blanket. Um, As you can see, when visiting Atherton, the first sight of our stylistic students may not be their outfits, but their cars. For our kids, I'm Atherton correspondent, Kaya Skipworth. Thanks, Kaya, for telling us more about cars at Atherton. Atherton has many different pathways, including engineering, media arts, and health sciences, but we also have our own amazing art program that our own Lillian Murphy is a part of. Now over to Lillian Murphy with more on Atherton's art students and their creations. These days, true fashion is hard to come by. Often artists get distracted by the stresses of the day-to-day -day life. At Atherton High School, there is a sanctuary of creativity where students are encouraged to express their ideas of themselves and the perception of the world around them. The art program at Atherton starts students off learning the elements and principles of art in the Art One classroom. Students then may further their knowledge in the drawing and painting classes where they build their technical skills in order to convey more meaning within their work. By the student's senior year, they can take a college level course. In room 119, our teacher Rachel Gibbs guides the students through the creative process in the AP classroom to create a uniform college level portfolio. The classwork is rigorous as students must create 15 pieces by the end of the year, one every three weeks. Students start their process by brainstorming and creating thumbnails to figure out what they want their pieces to express and how their artistic choices help to better develop the meaning. Ellie is a senior at Atherton who loves the AP art program. They show proficient understanding of their investigation and can translate their medium to emulate their ideas. So my portfolio is about gender expression um, and it's sort of an exploration of both stereotypes with gender and um, like personal feelings of stuff like how people feel um, expressing it different ways. Uh, and I enjoy making it mainly just because I enjoy making art. I've made it my whole life. Um, and it's just a nice way to like build a show colors and stuff that I like. Like really, it's all about the um, physical product for me. A lot of it is just like, it's pretty and I like making pretty things. And I think it's nice to be able to make pretty things with some sort of meaning to it that matters to me. Uh, they came into the art program pretty skilled already, naturally, but uh, throughout the years they've actually grown tremendously, um, not only just in their drawing skills, but also in their painting, um, specifically painting this year. Uh, I'm hoping that students will learn to work like a professional artist, um, be able to develop their own ideas, and then execute those ideas, um, and then have a portfolio that's ready for them to show for college. Um, 
they can often get scholarships through those portfolios. For our kids, I'm Atherton's correspondent, Lillian Murphy. Thanks for watching this episode of Atherton On Air. I'm Tyler Post, and have a great rest of your week. <laughs>